What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you multiple techniques including clippering, outlining, and blending to achieve this. Let's get started. Oh, and make sure you're subscribed. All right guys, so sectioning for this cut is pretty simple. Just separate front and back right behind the ear and then also at the parietal ridge down. I'm gonna be using the new Babyless uh, Snap FX Clipper. Um, they sent me this and the trimmer to test out. I really love it. Uh, one of the key things I like about it, it's a dual lithium ion battery uh, system. So basically the, the batteries unplug from the bottom and you plug them into the base. Um, so as you're cutting hair, if that battery dies, you just plug in another battery. Super simple, love it. It's for, again, for the clipper and the trimmer uh, that I'm using in this video. Now, my clipper over comb technique, I'm working back to front uh, and I'm keeping the comb at about a 45 degree angle. I work up the side of the temple and then into the back. I do the same thing on the opposite side and now you can see me connecting those two points in the back to really create kind of a rounded section uh, as I work through it in my horizontal line. So just rounding that off a bit. Now, Colin had a previous color on his hair, as you can see. So as I go through it, you're gonna see me needing to blend it and you'll see how that blending works. As we get into it, it's gonna get really interesting. This is me cutting uh, the hairline. Now, I like to go through and really stamp in that line first, then remove the hair. This is a really fun technique that I learned back um, probably 10 years ago. Um, but I love that technique because you get that nice crisp line and then you just remove the weight from it. Now I'll work around his ear a little bit, a little trimmer over comb work as well, just tightening things up, cleaning them up. Um, as I work around the ears, I like to use the comb as kind of an attachment because sometimes your hands can get in the way. So you'll see right here, as I push the ear down, I use the comb to flatten the ear and then I work around it with that trimmer. Uh, it's got a nice T-trimmer blade to it, so it reaches really well around the ear and we get everything nice and cleaned up same thing here uh, running that kind of stamp uh, line down the back and then you get a nice clean edge um, it's really really simple guys now we're gonna work the nape um, this I do a straight line in the back, but then I round it off. I round off the corners. This is really a, a personal preference, how you like to have it. Why don't you let me know in the comments, do you like to round the edges on your guys? Do you like to square it off? Do you let them decide? Let me know in the comments uh, below what you think on that. So as I was saying before, Colin has previously blonde hair. So you can see how heavy and thick that blonde is in the crown. Now, as I go in and layer it, it will lighten it up just a little bit, but you'll still see that nice uh, bold line where we went from our fade, our clipper over comb work to the longer hair. Um, now, that's okay. If they want more of a, uh, a buildup of weight in the back, that's fine. But for me, I like to really soften that edge and I'm gonna be using a a technique here where I'm layering it, obviously. So I'm using the FSE uh, Precision Elite Scissors, six and a half inch. Uh, it's my choice when working with men's hair sh uh, or shorter hair. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of scissor over comb work and precision work. Uh, I use that scissor. Um, that's available on our website. If you guys are looking for it, use the code FSE20 at checkout uh, and you'll get 20% off your entire order. Um, see, I switched to scissor over comb a little bit, um, but really what I'm doing is just shortening the back and then blending those two sections. Um, the next move that I will make is really where, so you can see how bold that line of blonde hair is. Uh, this is what I really love is obviously you can see where you need to blend it, um, but also it's gonna give you a great demo on the FSE uh, Blend 20 Elite, which is what I'm gonna be using now as I go into it. So this is the FSE, it's got the Elite handle, um, Japanese VG10 steel. Um, I'm going through, it removes 20% of the hair, uh, and you'll be able to see how that line just starts to really fade out and blend into it. It's a nice little gradient uh, to it. So imagine you've got somebody with just straight dark hair or straight blonde hair, um, and you go through and blend it, how crisp that blend's gonna be. This is just a great visual, I think, when you see that blonde hair and how much it starts to blend together. Um, just goes to show you how well this scissor works in blending uh, your fades or your shorter hair um, as you work through it. 
still using the blending scissor, uh, lifting the hair up, and now I'm gonna blow it dry uh, and really just start to see how that weight is progressing in the haircut. Um, I think this has a lot to do with the fine tuning and finishing work that you do. Um, so I'm gonna do some blending here. You'll see again how soft that blonde becomes and how it starts to melt into the brown. Um, that was one thing Colin said to me was, uh, how's the blonde going to look as you start to cut it shorter? And I said, I actually think it was at a point where it's going to look really good because uh, he'll have that blonde hair on top and that, that darkness on the bottom. Um, so I thought it was at a perfect point for this type of haircut. So you can see, just going through, again, blending. That blending scissor, um, some blending scissors that I've used in the past, they, they'll pull the hair or they get caught in the hair. These things melt into the hair uh, like a hot knife and butter. I, I love the feeling of using the Elite blending and the Elite texture. Uh, we have both the reverse teeth. So a little detail work around the edges. Uh, this is a technique that you're gonna see me do a couple times where I take the back edge of the blade. Um, I'm doing scissor over comb now, but I wanted to talk about this a little bit more. I, right here, I use the back edge of the blade so that blade that stays steady is what's up against the skin. That way you don't cut your client, uh, which is the most important part. You'll see me do it right uh, about here, yeah. So I go through and I'm just allowing that steady blade to go through it and then, uh, then you get a nice clean line or clean detail mark on the cut. So now going through the top, uh, point cutting, traveling guide, uh, as I work through it, the reason I'm going traveling is I don't want to push too much length to the front. So I just keep working through it. You'll see my last comb is away from my body. That's because I'm traveling towards the front of the head. Anywhere that you're traveling in a haircut, you should be combing in that direction. So same thing on this side. All right, just keep, keep working through. Actually, I haven't switched to the other side yet. Uh, just keep working through to the front. Uh, and now I blend the sides. So this is a great technique for when you're leaving hair a little bit longer on the top and you don't want those weight, uh, the weight buildup on the sides and you wanna just kinda of round it off a little bit. Um, you can go through, cut the top and then bring everything over to the side and cut it and it just blends it right in. So now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Go through, point cut, traveling guide through it and then we'll bring everything over to the sides. Again. Note when you're cutting shorter hair, uh, and I've talked about this in multiple videos, but when you get to the front of the head, the head starts to curve forward and the hair growth starts to kind of move forward as well. So when you're pulling everything straight up, you're still getting quite a bit of over direction. So don't overplay it and over direct it too far back because then you'll just end up with way too long a hair in the front and you'll end up cutting it off anyways. So here, blending in the sides, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do in the fringe area. With a lot of um, young men and uh, teenagers that are wearing this type of style, um, the fringe is kind of the most important part. I like to go in, I'm using the Blend 20 Elite again uh, on this part, and I work my line with that because it gives me a soft line. So I just keep working the teeth until it cuts all the way through. Uh, and then I just detail it uh, using um, a regular scissor, a Precision Elite scissor uh, in there. So now, this is a fun little uh, technique for those of you guys that like this kind of messier hairstyle but have a purpose with it, is to use the Dyson Airwrap. Um, some of you guys use this tool, um, but I just put it in the hair and let it do its magic, which is just flipping that hair up, which is what everybody wants nowadays anyways. And then I finish it off with a little bit of spray wax um, to finish the style. And now you can see this is our end result. Um, it's crazy the difference um, from the before and the after. Look at that. He's like shaggy and then all of a sudden it looks cleaned up. Still looks natural. Still looks like it has a little bit of messy texture to it, but it looks definitely a lot cleaner. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, go check out freesaloneducation.com. Check out the uh, Precision Elite Scissors, the Blend 20 Elite Scissor. All of those are available and shipping world wide right now. Use the code FSE20 at checkout. You'll get 20% off your order right away. Uh, I know you guys will love the scissors. Can't wait to hear about them. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.